How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. This video is going to be all about the final touches and water slide decals that I'm going to be using on the RG Evangelion Unit 1. So I've had a few people ask me uh, to talk about water slide decals, to talk about how I go about doing it. I've already started to use them on a, on a few of these pieces, so we'll just get into it and uh, start off with my way of doing it. First up, you're going to need some water slide decals, right? Um, certain kits will come with them. This one did not. These are Simpro's water slide decals. These are actually really high quality and actually very, very legible uh, decals. They also have really, really good adhesion. I'll do another video in the future specifically talking about different brands of water slides. But these are actually high quality water slides. Next up, you're going to need something that's going to cut the decal out. I recently got my hands on this scalpel blade. It's very, very sharp. It's very, very thin. And I only use it for cutting out water slides. You can use a normal X-Acto knife. You can use scissors. I like to go with the scalpel because it's nice and clean cut. You're also going to want to use some water. Um, I usually just use normal tap water. It doesn't matter to me if it's warm, cold, room temperature. Normal tap water works. Get yourself some tweezers. These are just uh, Tamiya's uh, regular crafting uh, modeling tweezers that I use for everything. And you're going to need a solution. Now, when I say you're going to need a solution, do you need a solution? No. Could you just go ahead, cut the decal out, dip it in water and throw it on? Yes. But you're most likely going to run into some type of issues when it comes to adhesion, bubbles, um, over time, how it's going to react. And if you do have any curved pieces, water will not help those decals set into the crevices. Lately, I've been using Mark Setter and Mark Softer. Um, these are pretty good. This is a GSI Creos brand. Um, what I do like about them is they do have their own little applicator brush. I would tell you that if you're going to go ahead and use this brand, please use it very sparingly. Another very popular brand is the uh, Microset and Microsol solution. Microset is just going to help your decals stick to the piece and adhere better. Microsol is going to go ahead and wherever you have a curved piece or something that you really want to set in or melt the decal, you're going to use that. If you can look onto this piece here, there are some ridges in here and just some of the writing where it says Evangelion test type actually goes over the ridge. There's a few things you can do there. One, which is the first step that I would say is use your uh, Mr. Mark softer or your micro saw and kind of lay it on there, get it off so that that decal starts to rest inside of the crevice, then get a sharp knife and cut the decal to show that it's separate panels. Um, just go slow when you do that so you don't cut it into the paint or damage it. But that's what you would use the two-part solution. For a lot of kits, you can probably get away with just the mark setter or the micro saw, however it works for you. So once you go ahead, get your decal into the water. I don't use a decal tray. Some people do have water slide decal trays. I just use a normal napkin and I'll just, I'll just take that piece out of the water. I'll dab it on the napkin. It'll dry through osmosis on the napkin. And then the decal itself usually comes off pretty easy. And I use a toothpick, a normal cotton swab, a pointed cotton swab, and I actually have this high Q parts uh, squeegee that I use for all my decals. I'll soak this in water, squeeze it out so it's wet, and then I'll just run it over the part to kind of get any bubbles and to really make sure that it's setting on. Uh, for the most part, that's how I do decals, and these are the tools that I use. So without further ado, let me go ahead and change the camera up, and I'll show you the process. So first off, using the scalpel, I cut the decal off of the decal sheet, grab the tweezers because these are pretty small decals, and I just give it a couple dunks in the water. I don't really like leaving it in the water for too long because I have had decals removed from the backing. I go ahead and just rest it on the paper towel. It's a good habit to try to just hit it on the edges so any excess water pulls off of it. Go ahead, grab your piece, inspect it. Try not to touch the spot that you're going to put the decal on using Mr. Mark setter a little bit goes a long way just do a couple of drops kind of let that hang on the part depending on the decals the size the brand it may take a little longer for them to release from the backing these simp model ones actually work really well this is kind of a tedious part here um, you want to make sure that you get those decals off closest to the general area that you're going to be applying them 
try not to soak up any of that solution with the Q-tip. If you do use a Q-tip, if there's any solution still left over, you can go ahead, use a toothpick. Uh, don't use your blade or your tweezers. That might actually scratch the plastic and then you're gonna have to start all over again. But you do have a little bit of play time here to kind of put it in that right perfect spot. And then as you can see, once I figure out exactly how I want that decal to set, I give it a once over, check for symmetry, it is pretty difficult to do this on camera, so I did have to bring it close to me. And then I go ahead and just squeegee over it. A lot of people like to use Q-tips and that's fine. Squeegee works really, really well for me. Give it a couple passes, can apply pressure. And there you have it, guys. That's how you apply water slide decals. So I hope you've all enjoyed this video so far. I definitely tried to make it as informative and brief as possible. And I can't stress enough how solid of a kit this is and how easy it is to make it look its best with minimal effort. I didn't do any advanced modeling techniques. I didn't even mask any of the pieces. Everything was color separated on its own, and I just did a couple tricks here and there to make it look like I did more than I did. Uh, these decals from Simpro Models, really good quality. I definitely recommend them as a brand in general, whether you're gonna get this kit or not. Their decals are really, really great option. Other than painting using uh, a majority of SMS paints uh, to make it look its best, I just use this uh, Copic multi-liner pen. I've been using this for quite some time now as my uh, panel liner. I do still have like the Tamiya panel liners and stuff, but as a pen, it's a 0.1 millimeter. It's very, very fine points, super thin. I would just say uh, two things if you're going to use this pen. One, they do run on the expensive side. This is probably going to run you anywhere from like $9 to $13, depending on where you're shopping and which uh, you know thickness you want that, that nib to be. And it's a different type of ink, so just be careful. If you're going to be using it on certain pieces, it can stain the paint if it's not already top coated. So however you build, um, I would just recommend being really cautious about using this. Shout out to my sponsor, USA Gundam Store. This kit, the decals, and a lot of the tools and accessories you've seen in this build series are currently available on their website. So thanks again for watching, guys. The next video, this guy will be all done. And the last thing I have to do is figure out if I want to use SMS Flat Clear or Super Clear, which are both incredible in their own rights. I just don't know what type of top coat I'm going to do. So maybe leave a comment. Let me know what you'd like to see as far as the final finish. And this guy's almost done. I'll catch you all in the next one.